Hey. How's everybody doing out there today? Just hanging out with the Rolling Stones. Got a nice little chicken for the queue here. So some shit drip off of that. Oh no! Well that's not good now, is it? Well, we'll clean that up in a second. That's never good. There's one for the for the blooper reels, eh? Let's get this shit taken care of. We don't need chicken everywhere now. Fuck. I was just gonna keep pulling on that for fun. Uh, but it's not my packer, so I won't keep pulling on it. Ah. Oh well. Shit happens, right? Be a lot cooler if I had like somebody to clean it up. Come on over, help me clean. I'll cook for you. All right, where was I? A little chicken full of water. That's what I was doing. I know it's been a while. I know you missed me. I missed you. I think one of these a week is good enough. Be a little tough to. Do some shit the days I work, you know. I do half the work. Sorry, go. I know you probably like to watch me cook all day, but I don't pay the bills right now. So what I'm gonna do here is a little, little spatchcock. Oh, sorry. I got a little text from the wife. I can see that while I'm, while I'm talking to you guys. Pretty cool, eh? So you do a little spatchcock chicken. You want to take it and cut out his backbone. I did this shit wrong for years and years and years until finally I watched the guy that knew what he was doing. Instead of being a dum dum and thinking I was doing the right thing. You need a good sharp knife. Just like this one. This is my go to for bodies and for, for food. Hmm. All right, you see you cut that backbone out of there. I don't know why you cut the backbone out. That's just what everybody does. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not much of a follower, but whatever. What's good enough for, for the pros is good enough for me, I guess. Doesn't really make any sense. I mean, you could just cut one side of it and See, there's the backbone. Bird ain't got no backbone anymore. Throw that in there. See that, and then you get a nice, see that's a vec backbone, and then sand's backbone, with, without. See, you just cut that out. Yeah, baby. And I like to just make a little, oh, just crack that breastbone there, right? And it lays all nice and flat like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I always cut down the breast and then all the juice and shit comes out and I don't know. I get it now. I understand. But but anyways, hold on, let me wash my hands here because it's not like TV where you just go back and forth and wash, 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 wash. Scrub a dub dub. Bear with me here. Still here. It's right there, in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got this little doodad here. It's called a mortar. At least that's what I've been told. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika in there. Mix that up. A little bit of garlic salt. Mix that up, right? This is all just normal, nothing fancy schmancy. Trying to impress nobody here, just trying to show you how to cook something and get some laughs out of you. 
about a teaspoon each, I guess. A little bit of mustard seed, or ground mustard, sorry. See, just no name. That's what I'm all about. I'm not a brand name girl here. A little bit of rosemary. You don't want to go too much on that. Nope. See? And then you take it, and you just mash the shit out of it. Oh, you know what? I forgot real salt, too. Always sea salt, folks. I hear it's better for you if there is such a thing. I really don't know. I just... That's what they say. That's the rules. So that's what I do. You just mix all that around. Make it a nice little... Nice little powder, see? Oh, you, can you see that? See? Powder. There it is. What's up, pumpkin? I see you there. I can read that. Told you I can see that shit. How's it going, Scotty Do? I know you've been waiting. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I picked this up from Mrs. Hudson the other day. Something I always do with the ribs, but when I'm not here, she does have to survive. And she came up with this little bit of honey mustard. On the chicken. Again, the days I work, she's got to survive too. Mostly for little Hudson, but for herself as well. She is kind of important around here. I do need my arm candy. And my arms get tired when she's not home. Sorry, I try to keep it clean. Put a little more mustard on the inside guts. Rub all that around. You can do this in the oven too. I always try to do it on the barbecue. I was going to do it in the oven, but it is just such a fine ass day out that I had to go out and get some on me. Tend it to the grounds a little, cut the grass. And, uh, yeah. Always something to do at Hudsonia here. A nice little visit from, from Ugly Kid Joel. He popped in for a cold pop. He's out cruising around on a scooter. She's looking good, by the way. I don't know if you're watching this, Joel. Probably not. I'll be up later, though. Don't you worry. For beers and cabanas. I know where it's at. Uh, it's been a while. I know. Sucking the hind tip in the visiting department. Oh, excuse me. So there we go, we got that all dusted up, ready to go. Shit sticking a little bit here. See now, we got that ready. What I'm gonna do is bring this and you outside. How, I don't know. I may have to put you in my pocket for a second, but we'll, we'll make this work. Hold on, people. See, this is what happens when you don't got a TV crew. I really don't think I'll ever get to that status. I'm just having fun horsing around. A couple of drinks, unsupervised. You know how it is. Okay. Now I'm going to grab Mr. Bird here. See? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a beautiful bosom right there. I'm more of a leg and thigh man myself. The breasts are all right too. All right, let's take this shit outside. Now finally, master charcoal here. It's a, it's a finicky beast. Alright, yeah, you're my two biggest fans. You and Scotty do. I see the, the future Mrs. Hannah watching there too. I see I got that all nice and cleaned up, ready to go. Oh no, that's the lawnmower. They're a little screwed up doing it this way. And uh, yeah, I got all my coals on one side here. I don't know if you can see that. Got that side all empty. That's called indirect heat. 
Now what I'm gonna do is take this here bird. I'm gonna throw it on there just like that. Okay, see? See that? She's all nice and laid out. Now what you should do is try to give it uh, about 15, 20 minutes that way. Then we're gonna flip it that way, breast side out for 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the same. Now, here in Hudsonia, we don't mess around with the temperatures too much. That's gonna be cooking, do you see that? That's gonna turn, we're going spinal tap here, right up to 11. Yep, you know, it's like 10, but one higher. And uh, yeah, we'll be back to check on that in a little while, I guess. It's a beautiful day. I got a little bit of sun on me. Not too much. Just a little sun kiss the way Mrs. Hudson likes me. Looks good for when I'm naked playing the guitar for her, I guess. Her little midsummer night serenade. That you're not going to get to see. Sorry, Chris. And uh, yeah. I got some asparagus here. I'm not too sure what the hell I'm going to do with that. Oh, yeah, another mess. See? That's what happens when I'm home alone, folks. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Show you uh, my taters. Show you my guts. And uh, as soon as I figure out what to do with it. I know I make potatoes a lot. Mrs. Hudson can be a little picky. Little Mr. Hudson can be a little picky. I would love to expand my horizons. But they are my sole purpose for cooking and living so that's uh, that's how that's gonna go oh look at money what's up months i see you to get you over here playing the guitar one day while i'm cooking before you move your ass to paradise this is looking good what's up greg sue awesome <laughs> i'm gonna need another chicken if you guys are coming We'll have to do a little queue up here in the summer to get the kids together and stuff. A few cold pops and yeah. But anyways, this is Hudson over and out. I'll be, uh, be back in a bit. Take care. Be good.